All right, welcome to part three of our, uh, our aquaponics. Uh, today, the, we bought out, went out and bought the, uh, the light and everything, the grow light. Just bought it at a, uh, a regular store. Uh, the one that I chose was a 48 inch. It's got four lamps. Each lamp is 54 watts. It's supposed to put out, I think, 20,000 lumens. Uh, so it should be real good. The other thing we bought also was we bought some reflect, uh, I forget what they call it. It's just a reflective median. So we bought 25 feet of that. It's just one mil. It's silver. It's like a big roll of aluminum foil is what I think it is. And what we're going to do is we'll wrap that around uh, to increase the overall effect of the light. Uh, here's our grow bin and our fish. They've been in there now for oh, going on probably six weeks. I've probably got 50, 50 or so goldfish down there. We're going to get some perch. Um, but now it's time to mount the light. So I got, a, I got some tap cons. We're going to screw it right into the, right into the concrete roof. And uh, we'll see what we end up with here. So I'll uh, keep it up advised. All right. So I've got my, uh, my lamp hung. I just put a couple of eye, hole, eye bolts right into the concrete and I got my fixture hanging it's kind of temporarily hung you can see it's four lamps now I'm going to put up the uh, the surround which is the uh, the foil material which will uh, keep it all nice and bright and warm in there okay so we got our posts up now and we rolled out our our one mil mylar sheet and we've got that up now now you can see what we got here just put it up I held it with some uh, little clips that we had put one on each corner one on each one at the bottom of each for my risers I just used one inch PVC pipe it was actually extra piping that I had from when I built the uh, the plumbing system for the aquaponics. That seemed to work really good. They're just freestanding. So now I'm going to hang our light. Alright, now you can see we got our light hung up. I've got it about you know, two feet over the top. And we got our first planting in there. Amy put some uh, oregano in there. What's this one? Oregano. Another oregano. A little more oregano. Okay, so two oregano. We're going to have two oreganos, so we'll put that one right there. i got to dig it into the gravel. And I think she's going to put, what is it, a little basil? basil? And we'll put a couple of basils in here. Alright, so we're going to plant it now. We'll be back. <clears throat> Alright, so now we've done some planting. We've actually transplanted a few things. We've got uh, basil and I don't know what the heck else I mean planted back there. Basil and oregano. That's oregano. Those two are basil. These two here are spinach. And then from the uh, uh, plantings we had for our garden, for the sprouts, we've got uh, three tomato plants that we stuck into here. And then these are uh, two tomatillas that we also transplanted from the uh, seed stock for the garden outside. So, don't know how those will do being transplanted, but worst case, I killed off five tomato plants. So, so there it is. So now we let it go and we'll see what happens.